Welcome. I'm Kinetic Symphony. I hunt down and report on mysterious and weird true stories, from glitches to the paranormal. Case file number 642, written by Bruce by the Foot. The most mind-bending ketchup story you've ever heard of. Here's a short mundane story, but definitely a glitch nonetheless. Back in 2017, my cousin, his girlfriend and I all traveled to Sacramento to visit an old friend of mine. Now, we didn't get any room since my friend said he could house all of us, which turned out that he expected everyone to cuddle up and sleep on his bed with him. Not ideal, but it worked out. Anyway, after the first night, we all rose to his family out in the kitchen prepping a traditional Mexican breakfast for us. I still can't believe how lovely his family is and laid out for us were condiments. Hash browns were part of breakfast, so the ketchup bottle was being passed around. I swear to God, I was actively watching and waiting for an appropriate time to take my turn with the ketchup bottle, and I watched it get passed between the entirety of my friend's family before it finally reached my hands. Nothing wrong with that at all, but I squeezed what looked like to be a relatively new bottle of ketchup, and I could not get anything out. I squeezed harder and harder, but I got concerned I was going to pop the lid off. Now, everyone is looking at me all confused, right? So I asked my cousin for help, and he tried and also couldn't get anything out, and then his girlfriend tried with the same result. So now everyone is really confused. And that's when I unscrewed the cap, and every single one of us saw that the bottle was factory sealed. Nobody had an answer for what the hell just happened. The rest of the trip was great and normal, but every now and then I bring it up just to make sure it really happened and everybody seems to remember it the same. Case file number 643, written by I am Jimmy M. A rest stop unlike any other. This happened about two months ago, on a stretch of highway near where I had another very odd experience involving time dilation. So this time, I'm headed back home after visiting my parents about an hour and a half south of my place, and I have to pee. So I'm in an area I've driven through hundreds of times and I've stopped at certain gas stations probably 50 plus times to pee in the past. I take the exit I've taken so many times before, only when I come to the stop sign at the top of the off ramp, there is no gas station to my right. Just a vast landscape of farmland and a few strands of trees. It feels all of a sudden like the density of the air got thicker as well. There should be an on-ramp directly in front of me if I wanted to get back onto the freeway. It's definitely missing. I take my right turn after a minute of sitting there bewildered. I slowly drive down an abandoned and desolate road to another T intersection. As I'm sitting at this stop sign, still bewildered, another car appears in my rearview mirror. They eventually, slowly, pull up alongside me. They stopped and looked bewildered as well. The driver in a newish Subaru Outback turned to me and shrugged with a worried look on her face. It was like 11.30 at night and there were no lights on the road. She turned right, I turned left. I eventually came upon the next town down the road and re-entered the freeway, but it was like three miles down the road. I drove past the exit with the gas station last night around 1am. It's still there. Bright yellow shell lights ablaze in the otherwise dark landscape. Exit and entrance are as normal as they once were. I no longer use that exit as a rest stop. Case Notes, file number 643. Just a quick guess, but I'm thinking you probably were in another universe briefly, or at least you perceived it. So here we have the standard alternate universe hypothesis, that you jump to another universe that was mostly similar to yours but with obvious differences like the shell not being there. But the weird thing and what doesn't fit is the other person in the Subaru was there with you. Unless for some reason you both entered this new universe for no apparent reason together. I've never heard of that happening. I have heard of people crossing over in quantum mortality together if they die at the same time, perhaps related to close familial bonds. Uh, if you have loved ones, friends, family, maybe your own personal family, you know, your wife and your kids then you'd be more likely to cross over with them to the same new universe. There are so many that if it was random, it would be astronomically impossible to wind up together. So yeah, in your case, um, it probably was just a perception glitch, 
In fact, the Shell station was probably right there, you just weren't able to see it. You and this other girl were just witnessing the other universe, and it was like a drape was put over your eyes, and you could only perceive how this universe was, but not the universe you still were in. It's weird, and I keep thinking back to this one story a long time ago, where there was this guy who was a real estate broker, or something like that. He was inspecting a unit, and then it was completely different from one second to the other. His perception entirely changed. I don't think he actually went to another universe and then was pulled back. I think he just was able to see the universe that was already there. One of almost infinite. I wonder what triggers this. I personally think that there's something in your brain that is different to be able to connect to this. But I also think there's some trigger in the world that happens. And I think it's pretty clear that this is the case because the other girl was there with you at the same time perceiving it. So two people with the ability to and in the correct location for it to happen. And there's more evidence of that because you went back and the shell station was indeed there. So it did return. Well, in my theory, it never left. It just, you couldn't see it. Briefly. Bonus file, written by Lord of Flies, Beezlebub. A picture worth a thousand words and a million hugs. This is a heavy story. Three months ago, I was assaulted by someone senior to me at work. I was 19 myself, and the other person who did it was 53. It was a crap day. I reported it as soon as he was away from me and headed home. It's a short drive. But every second, all I could think was, every moment takes you further away. I got home, and when I was asked what was wrong, it all came out. Fast forward to three days later and I was anxious, crying at everything and convinced the person would be angry because I reported it and come after me. I made it to around 2 a.m. and couldn't sleep. I was sobbing in my bed. Now, here is where I have to explain the layout of my room. I have a string of fairy lights over my bed with pegs that hold pictures. The one above where I was holds a picture of my grandfather. The window was closed, as was the door. There were no radiators or fans. My grandfather had passed away unexpectedly when I was three. It was only recently revealed how, and I cannot tell people how as I know my family are very concerned about it, but let's say it was abrupt and caused a lot of pain for everyone. I relate to my grandfather the more I hear about him, but I don't remember him well at all, but often catch myself wishing I could ask his advice or speak with him. I'm laying in bed and I notice the fairy lights swaying like they would if caught in a breeze. But there is no breeze, nothing that could possibly generate one. I see his picture and I feel an urge to grab it. When I do it, it stops swaying and I feel a sense of complete calmness. I take it down from the peg and just sit a while, staring at it. I get the feeling someone is sitting by me. You know how you feel when the blankets stretch when someone sits on your bed? And I felt more comfortable than I had in a long, long time. Like I knew no matter what, everything would be okay. I genuinely can't explain it. I've tried sleeping tea, ambience, anxiety medicine, and distractions, everything, and all of a sudden it just stopped. And slowly, over the next few days, I felt better. I could be imagining it. Please don't think I'm crazy. But I genuinely feel like someone or something, most likely my grandfather, was there. Case Notes Bonus File Right, so in common thought, ghosts or echoes are believed to be very cold, low energy. If they're around us, the energy is almost sapped away from us in the same way that heat is drawn towards cold. The universe always wants to equalize energy states. I do wonder though, in cases of extreme bonds existing, is there some cancellation to this energy draw? You report nothing of feeling cold, in fact the exact opposite, you felt warm, safe, protected re-energized. Maybe if some spirits linger behind, to those whom they have an intense connection with, their presence charges them up. It could explain those random moments where we're feeling low and then suddenly get a burst of energy and excitement seemingly from nowhere. It's a beautiful thought that this is the imprinted energy left behind by our loved ones. And by the way, you are extremely strong for even sharing this with us. I thank you tremendously for that and hang in there, things will be better.